My play is McDonald's tickles, ticker symbol MCD shares moving marginally today as the company CEO Chris Kempzinski speaks at the Chicago Economic Club. He provided an update on the broader economy, noting we are probably headed to a minor recession and a more significant recession in Europe specifically. The head of the Golden Arch is also bashing that Assembly Bill 257 in the state of California, which would raise fast food workers minimum pay to $22 an hour starting next year. Kamzinski calling the bill a terrible piece of legislation. He also took aim at one particular exemption in that bill for those who sell bread by the loaf. There are a lot of complicated exemptions within that bill, really applies to those franchises over 100 locations. He said it should apply to everyone. Now, shares of McDonald's up 13 percent over the last six months, a pretty good number, and really unmoved by this news, as you might expect, mostly flat, up marginally. There's a lot ahead on this fast food bill, Rochelle. Um, the industry groups are challenging it. They would like to see a ballot initiative to send it to the hands of voters. I'm not sure if that works out well for McDonald's and the like, but this is a huge cost increase that critics say will increase the cost of food already difficult for people in California. And I know that we've spoken to franchise owners who say, look, we ourselves are not McDonald's, we're a franchise, but we're being penalized. We're going to have to obviously right. try and pay more for staff. So it's a lot. If you're a small franchise owner versus being the big corporation, this is a much tighter squeeze for you. So I definitely do feel for them, but you're in a rock between a rock and a hard place. You want to attract more people to come into, into the workforce. And you know, a lot of them didn't want to because of COVID. You're this customer facing um, profession. It's hard and you want to be able to afford a cost of living while inflation is still sky high. So it's tough on both sides for sure, Shauna. Yeah, Dave, you mentioned the fact that it could mean higher prices for consumers. There was an analysis out by UC Riverside. They estimated that if fast food wages rose 20 percent, that means that prices in these restaurants would increase by 7 percent. So t coming at a very tough time when people are already struggling to make ends meet to pay for the higher prices that we're currently seeing on food. So even higher prices, a 7 percent increase could be very, very worrisome for many, many people that will be largely affected by this. Yeah, and in particular, lower end of the economy, not the people you want to be hurting as we enter recessionary uh, type time.